A conspiracy is defined as an agreement by two or more persons to commit a crime, and it usually requires an overt act in furtherance of the agreement. But in some courts, a conspiracy must also include interdependence between the co-conspirators. The Tenth Circuit explained how interdependence works in United States v. Caldwell. Starting in 2004, Samuel Herrera, a mid-level marijuana supplier in Oklahoma City, supplied product to street-level dealers, including Michael Caldwell. Caldwell then sold marijuana to users. Caldwell was friends with David Anderson, another dealer who occasionally provided a kilogram or so to Caldwell in 2005. Thereafter, Caldwell and Anderson didn't do any business together for about a year. In 2006, Anderson was looking for a new supplier, so Caldwell introduced Anderson to Herrera. With Caldwell present, Herrera sold Anderson four and a half kilograms of marijuana. Thereafter, Herrera regularly sold to Anderson. Caldwell didn't profit economically from introducing Anderson to Herrera, and Caldwell wasn't involved in any further dealings between Anderson and Herrera. Caldwell was charged in federal court with conspiracy to distribute 100 kilograms or more of marijuana. Herrera and Anderson were named as co-conspirators. A jury convicted Caldwell of conspiracy to distribute marijuana and found that the conspiracy involved more than 100 kilograms. Caldwell was sentenced to 130 months imprisonment. Caldwell appealed to the Tenth Circuit.